Hi, welcome to I Heart Reviewing Stuff. So I'm gonna open up uh, a little surprise tweens masquerade party, Regina Hart, who definitely represents the queen of hearts for Alice in Wonderland. I did go ahead and prep some of the box so I'm not struggling as bad to get her out. Uh, and then people are, I think, finding these at Walmart now. I don't think I've seen Target. I think just Walmart. I know on Amazon, these don't uh, release until October 1st. Uh, they are on the Elwell Surprise Store is how I got them. Uh, but yeah, I've seen uh, people, I think, on YouTube and uh, Instagram uh, show that they found them at Walmart. Walmart seems to be putting out a lot of new stuff because costume parties are even found at uh, Walmart, which is crazy. And then Monster High Torally, of course, is probably what I want to find most, even though I would be excited with the costume uh, Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls. Um, I think I would rather find the Shadow High ones, since like they're all new characters. I really like the fairy, but I would like to see the werecat and the vampire bat one uh, in person just to see what I think. But I feel like the fairy is my favorite, uh, but it's always hard to know until like you see in person. I hope we can, the way they're boxed, uh, you don't see the doll, but I'm hoping maybe there's like a flap that opens so that you can see the doll. I feel like there is, but I don't know for sure. Yes, so let me try to get her Ooh, free from here. Oh, okay. Oops. So I like that she's got pants on under this that have cute heart uh, fishnet and the white pant leg has pink fishnet heart and the pink pant leg has white fishnet heart. She does have the shoes like the, uh, what's her name? Marilyn Star, was it from series three? It does seem to be the exact same shoes. I was checking, I believe that the Jackie Hops does have the exact same shoes as Fancy from series one. Um, so yeah, I'm not, this is like such a weak heel uh, on the shoe. So I'm not loving the shoes cause I didn't really like them uh, with the Marilyn doll. Uh, and I don't really like plastic stuff like this either. Uh, not a favorite, um, of that. I mean, I, I like that it's a little more flexible. I feel like the Fame Queen Lady Gaga OMG doll, uh, I think it was like really hard metal. So this seems a little easier to take on and off, but I'm not a huge fan of like plastic fashion, uh, pieces. And then I'm curious to find out. Okay, so I think these are just sleeves. I'm not a big fan of this either, uh, that they seem to be doing a lot of lately with dolls is instead of giving us like a long sleeve shirt or something, we're getting like just sleeves that you can remove. Um, maybe other people are into this or like it or it's a throwback. I don't know. It kind of gives me some 80s vibes, but I'm not really super feeling it in all honesty. So yeah, you get these uh, sleeves <laughs> that have like ruffles on them. Let's see what else. Okay, so I think this is just a belt. Okay, but it's got plastic that I have to cut in order to get it to come off. Okay, so that's her belt, um, which I don't, I don't think I super mind if belts are made of plastic, you know, like earrings. Um, so certain accessories, I guess they don't uh, bother me if they are uh, plastic. So this is kind of cute, pearls, and it's got like a pink and gold heart down at the bottom there. Um, and of course that comes off easily. We don't have to worry about hooking. Uh, anything. So her shirt, I kind of wish there was like a shirt 
under this, but okay, this is all one piece. It's actually not even, it seems like a tight Velcro back there. You can see how like you see a lot of it exposed. Um, I'm trying to see if I can make that. Okay, I got it on a little tighter. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a tight fit on her. So they give her like this big heart. Um, it does look very cracking in the type of fabric that they used or material. And then there's all these little um, pearls glued down. Now these definitely on this like opened skirt, I guess you would call it. Like they're all like stitched on there. So I'm pretty sure we don't have to worry about all of that falling off. But now on the top, I feel like they're probably just kind of pressed in place like a lot of other kind of stuff we've had with Rainbow High and OMG dolls. So these I feel like could potentially fall off depending on how much you take the top on and off of her. Um, so definitely be aware of that. It's cute. I just kind of wish we had another top under this or something because I don't s super love this top. The skirt is cute. Um, go ahead and take that off. So, Velcro her pants back together. Oh, she's kind of, okay. <laughs> They're a very thin material. I feel like you can see her uh, skin tone underneath these. So that was a choice. I guess that's why they gave this so that we don't see how sheer it is. Um, so that's almost too bad. Um, that they did that. Cause I like having more fashion pieces. So I don't know. Max is starting to <laughs> win me over more. Um, I wouldn't say I'm super loving this doll as much as I love Queen of Hearts. Uh, so she's got very pale hearts on her cheeks. Um, cat's kind of going crazy running around. Um, and then there's baby hairs that are in like a light pink painted across on her. I do like this swipe of like pink and there's like red tinsel in the hair. I do like these crowns, even though they're kind of hidden to see, uh, that are in her two buns, a black and pink bun. And then there is I see back here some more like red tinsel, um, but not a lot of tinsel if you're not a fan of the tinsel. And then definitely, I would say the hair is probably similar to Gracie Skates, I think her name was that we got. Uh, so this piece actually might be my favorite. I thought I was gonna really like the pants, but I don't like that they're so sheer. And then, I don't know, I wish this like, wasn't the entire top that there was like a top underneath this big heart um that's how i'm feeling about that so i think this might be my favorite a uh, piece of her fashion um so this is all just printed on here but it's sparkly and it's got uh black with like silver and hearts are drawn on it and this is more like red with probably pink like a metallic rose gold pink uh, for the hearts. Um, and then it is lined on the inside. So it, I'd say this like seems like a well-made piece. That's probably like her best piece of uh, fashion clothes because I am a little disappointed in the pants and the top. Okay, so uh, I'm trying to see here how can I get to oof, this stuff a little easier. I feel like I'm still tearing up the box uh, uh, to get to this. How am I on time? Okay. All right. Okay. So, oh yeah, but at least we get another pair of shoes. Okay. I'm a little happier now. Let's go ahead and take these flimsy heel shoes, which I'll try to show. Um, those closer up, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they look exactly like what uh, the Marilyn one got. So that's the left foot. She's got a broken heart on the bottom of hers. Again, it may not show. Okay, I think I can see it. Uh, but yeah, I like these shoes more. Um, 
a lot better. Actually, it almost makes me start to like the top more just as soon as I put these shoes on her. Okay, so let's get to her purse, which I think has the little king on it, which is super cute. Uh, and of course she's got red nail polish bottle. Uh, so this I think opens. Can't really put anything in there. Uh, so that's always a shame when they don't consider that. Oh no, she's on here. I thought it was the king. But no, it's the Queen of Hearts. There's a Q on there, and uh, it looks not exactly like her, but I can see maybe where they were going with it. Um, definitely not a very long strap. Oh, and then a broken heart on the back with the uh, Qs for Queen of Heart. So cute, though. Um, I just wish they would sometimes consider um, the size of the purse because I feel like it would look okay if it were a little bit bigger scale not too much bigger but just enough to maybe where you could fit like because we'll see here these compacts are really small that they gave them uh, for the eyeshadow palettes so maybe it will actually still fit into her purse we'll see Okay, and everything's taped down there. So she has a little camera. I like that it has a loop. I think this uh, tweens have always been pretty good at remembering to give things a handle. So she's got a little camera. Uh, and then her makeup brush that uh, three of the four come with makeup brushes. And then this is her little palette is Let's see here. There's some crowns on it, but it looks like they have J's instead of like a Q. And it's like silver and then like the kind of light, light pink. So yeah, this is super <laughs> tiny, but let's see if it will fit in the purse. I have a feeling it's... No, it's too big to fit in the purse. Because the way this purse opens, there's like piece inside the purse that's like in the way so um yeah it's too bad you can't fit it in the purse so like I said if they probably just made it a little bit bigger um not much but just a tiny bit then uh would have been better and I almost forgot she's got her surprise <laughs> um uh compartment as well so painting the roses red that's funny that's very like in the um animated film. Let's see if I can get this open. Oh yeah, she's gonna have her little booklet too. Okay, so it's in red. Welcome to Wonderland. So Regina Hart, you're invited. Who the queen? One day she'll be the boss. Why? She knows all the tea. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so yeah, there's her bag. Not surprised, it's got roses. I'm sure it's gonna be this checkerboard, yeah. Black and white. Um, I'm trying to remember, there's probably like a floor scene in the movie that has uh, that going on. So let's see here. So this is her glasses, ma you know, mask for the masquerade. Um, cute. It's kind of these like elongated um, hearts, I would say. It's kind of a little abstract uh, looking. It looks like she has a little silver tear. <laughs> the queen is a little sad. Um, let me see here if I can unhook this. Get it on her just to see. I really like her like face and makeup, so I'm not sure what I'm going to think of this. I ended up liking hops more than I would have thought. So we'll see here. So actually it's pretty cute as well. So I'm not like hating glasses um, as much in this line. Uh, maybe because they have a more masquerade mask feel to them. Uh, so these are her earrings, which I think 
the like stock images was really confusing how to figure out like what are her earrings of so it's like a red heart and then it matches her belt it's got that like light pink with a gold uh heart circle inside of it kind of like overlapping um is her uh earrings that's how they look um trying to show because i did actually think the same thing as uh kelly storm dolls when she was looking at stock images that these looked like lipsticks i'm trying to see if i can sort of show how they can so i think maybe you guys are seeing it i kind of see it because at a certain angle i think like we're seeing like a light pink and then like a red sticking out and the way it kind of looks um it almost looks like she's gonna have like lipstick earrings and heart earrings um that i do agree that would have been kind of cool um because then we could have like actually had her like pretend to take her earring off and use it as like a uh, real uh lipstick because that's like kind of a missed opportunity that they didn't give us like um lipstick they went for giving like bottles of nail polish uh on all four i believe uh there's her fingernails they do match the color can she kind of hold it? Oh, she can kind of hold it. That's cool. All right. Well, I like that because she definitely can't hold her little, <laughs> this is just too tiny. Um, of course, I wish it fit in the purse. Then I would justify why it's so tiny. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.